about two years ago, one of the lead coaches mentioned that Admiral County was beginning to learn about lesson study, and they wanted to have one teacher from each school to be a point person for the model and attend some professional development offerings. I was eager to get involved in that, seeing that lesson study was a topic of many discussions in my classes at UVA. Uh, lesson study is a professional development process that teachers engage in to systematically examine their practice with the goal of becoming more effective teachers. This examination centers on teachers working collaboratively on study lessons. To provide a focus and direction of this work, the teachers select an overarching goal and related research question that they want to explore when they delve into this lesson. We chose what we needed to work on as a, as a group, as, and again, in a building together, working together for the students in that building. And when you go to a professional development, you're not always choosing um, what, you're, what you're learning about specifically. Like we got very specific, summarizing is what we're gonna study here. We wanted to focus on summarization because it's a skill that, that we struggle with teaching, but we also needed to look at the process and where does the student understanding or learning break down. We want to be able to write an accurate and concise summary statement. Um, while working on lesson study, teachers jointly draw up a detailed plan for a lesson. And after the lesson construction, um, all the teachers' names are put into a hat and one name is pulled out and that demonstration teacher is selected. And then a different classroom is also selected. And it was also great because the language arts department was represented vertically. A sixth grade teacher, a seventh grade teacher, and an eighth grade teacher were on the team in addition to two instructional coaches and our assistant principal. Um, and the group was very open to critically examine what we currently do and why we do it. And I think that's what made us successful. I really liked the collaboration. I liked the collaboration and I liked the collaboration. <laughs> um, it was nice not to feel alone and to be able to be able to talk to my peers about what was going on and what problems I was having in the classroom and then to come up with this lesson study. Um, that matched, that fixed that problem, or would hopefully fix that problem in the next three years. Mm -hmm. um, so it was excellent. Here's your what, so what organizer. Here's the information privacy, what, safety on the internet, or your personal information on the web. We did that on the board, right? <coughs> so what, you have to be careful, or you have to watch out. And then putting them together. You have to watch out on the internet to stay safe. Just what Savion said or be careful where you share your personal information online. I think the really cool thing is that um, in lesson study, you don't just look at data after the fact, which we do in PLCs a lot. We look at the data, we talk about what we would do differently. In this case, you get to look at the lesson ahead of time and say, okay, we've got a great lesson here, but how would we tweak it to make it the best possible lesson? And as you talk with your fellow teachers about that, you really learn from them some of their ideas about, you know, how do you get kids engaged? How do you make the best possible lesson? Typically if you go to a professional development you get all these cool little tricks and tools and you come back to your room and you work on them and then you reflect on them by yourself. Hmm, did that work? I liked that but I don't know. But with us we got to say well, did you notice this and did you notice this and I thought it was interesting to be able to talk about what we all observed at the same time in the same place. You know, it's one thing to be given something and then say, okay, I want to try to take this into my classroom and see if it works, and you try it, and then you, you check it against your own standards and your measurements, and, and okay, yes, it works, or no, it doesn't, and maybe revamp it. But it just gave it a three-dimensional aspect, if you will, of learning and growing, not just from what you were seeing, but from what other eyes were seeing in the classroom as well.